सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम विच इज रिलेटेड टू मॉड्यूल फॉर करेंट एलिमेंट ओके इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम एट वेरी लेंथी दिस वन आफ्टर दिस वन प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू एंड दिस मॉड्यूल सो द क्वेश्चन गोज लाइक दिस अ करेंट एलिमेंट आई वन डी एल वन इज इक्वल टू टेन टू दॉर माइनस फोर एज एड वैक्टर एम्पियर मीटर इज लोकेटेड एट टू कॉमा जीरो कॉमा जीरो ओके सो एनदर एलिमेंट करेंट आई टू डी एल टू इज गिवन बाई आई टू डी एल टू इज इक्वल टू टेन टू दॉर माइनस सिक्स ए एक्स माइनस टू ए वाई प्लस थ्री एज एड एम्पियर मीटर सो दीज आर दीज टू आर लोकेटेड एट पॉइंट माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो कॉमा जीरो ओके सो एंड बोथ ऑफ देम आर इन फ्री स्पेस सो नो वॉट वी नीड टू बी फाइंडिंग इज वी नीड टू फाइंड द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन आई टू डी एल टू बाई आई वन डी एल वन ऑल्सो द सेम ऑन आई वन डी एल वन बाई आई टू डी एल ओके सो हियर अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन आई ड्रॉन हियर द रफ डायग्राम हियर ओके दैट इज पी वन आई मार्क डिट हियर एंड मार्क डिट एज टू कॉमा जीरो कॉमा जीरो पी टू आई मार्क डिट एज माइनस टू जीरो जीरो बोथ ऑफ देम आर आई वन डी एल वन एंड आई टू डी एल टू फर्स्ट वी नीड टू बी फाइंडिंग फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन आई टू डी एल टू बाई आई वन डी एल वन सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड टू बी फाइंडिंग द क्वान्टिटी डी एफ टू ओके द फॉर्मुला गोज लाइक दिस दैट इज आई टू डी एल टू क्रॉस डी बी वन ओके दैट इज इक्वल टू डी एफ टू आई टू डी एल टू क्रॉस Since b is equal to mu times h, so what we can write is d b one s mu naught into i one d l one cross the unit vector a r one two divided by four pi into magnitude of the side that is r one two whole square. Okay. So now using this equation, we we need to be solving uh, d f two. So before that, let's find the values uh, of uh, r12 and uh, the unit vector r12. That is first we need to be finding r12 vector that is equal to r2 minus r1. Okay, r12 vector that is r2 means these two we need to be mark uh, subtracting that is minus two minus two ax. Plus zero minus zero a y plus zero minus zero a z. So this both goes. So only this term remains. That is r one two is equal to minus four a x. Okay. So this is the value of r one two. So now using this, let's find the magnitude of r one two. That is magnitude of r one two. Is equal to square root of the coefficient that is minus four whole square. Okay, so this root and square gets cancelled, and minus four square is plus sixteen, right? Square root of sixteen is four, so magnitude of r one two is equal to four. Okay, so now using the same thing, unit vector r one two that is r one two divided by magnitude of r one two. R12 we have got it as minus 4 ax divided by magnitude is 4. 4 4 gets cancelled. Therefore, our unit vector R12 is equal to minus ax. Okay. So this this is the value of our unit vector R12 minus ax. So now substitute this uh, back in the formula that is df2 is equal to i2 dl2. Cross u naught into i one d l one cross a r one two. You can replace it by like this r one two vector divided by four pi into magnitude of r one two square. Okay, that is d f two is equal to. You can take some of the terms out there. That is mu naught. Divided by four pi into magnitude of r one two square. Take it outside. 
then the remaining terms are i2 dl2 cross i1 dl1 cross r12 vector write it like this okay then substitute some of the values that is mu not mu not value in standard is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 4 pi into r12 square r12 magnitude of r12 we have got it as 4 4 square is 16 so this 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled and i2 dl2 cross i1 dl1 cross ar12 so now we can further solve this df2 is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 by 16 into i2 dl2 is 10 to the power minus 6 into ax minus 2ay plus 3az cross these two that is 10 to the power minus 4 into az cross r12 vector that is minus ax right so now after simplification what we will be getting is df2 is equal to Ten to the power minus six into ax minus two ay plus three az cross these two cross products. So here ten to the power minus four remains as it is. Az cross minus ax. Okay. So if we see this az cross minus ax, uh, it is in the clock clockwise direction only. It is in the sequence of x y z x y z right so you can see that z and x are symmetrical it's in the same direction okay so that's why az cross minus ax the uh, resultant uh, unit vector is a y vector that is positive a y plus a y okay since we have a minus here so we can directly write this minus 10 to the power minus 4 into a y vector okay so like this the vector a y has come down so now the same thing go on solving okay so here i've just multiplied 10 to the power minus 6 uh, to all the terms here okay so now of df2 is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 you can take this 10 to the power minus 6 all and 10 to the power minus 4 outside that is into 10 to the power minus 6 by 16 and here what we can write is the remaining terms ax minus 2ay plus 3az cross minus ay okay so df2 is equal to solve this that is minus 7 minus 6 is minus 13 minus 13 minus 4 is minus 17 minus 17 by 16 into now solve this as well so ax vector cross minus ay vector these two are in clockwise direction so the resultant vector is uh, plus az vector okay but here we have minus so minus az and uh, ay cross ay is uh, zero so this uh, term vanishes so you won't get any vector here so again az cross minus ay since z and y are in anti-clockwise direction so the resultant vector we would be getting is minus ax vector okay since we have a minus sign already so minus into minus would be plus 3 into ax vector okay so like this we need to be taking the cross product now again df2 is equal to 1 by 16 this is uh, we can write this as 1 into 10 to the power 17 right so if we solve for 1 by 16 our answer we will be getting it as 1 1.875 1 by 16 into 10 to the power minus 18 so why i have written 18 is because 1 by 16 the answer we are getting 0 0.1875 okay 
So I've just shifted this point here. So the 10th power minus 17 would be 18 now into minus AZ plus 3AX. Okay. So DF2, our final answer for DF2, what we are getting is after uh, multiplication, that is 5.625. AX. So I first multiplied for AX. Okay. Minus 1.875 AZ into 10 to the power minus 18 Newton. Okay. So this is our final answer for force exerted on I2 DL2 by I1 DL1. That is DF2. Okay. So similarly in the same way we can solve it for DF1 only by taking the reciprocal process that is so uh, similarly I have solved it for df1 also okay as you can see df1 is equal to i1 dl1 cross db2 okay so what you would be getting is df1 is equal to i1 dl1 cross db2 so you can write it as mu0 i2 dl2 cross this time it is a r21 that is r21 vector divided by 4 pi into magnitude of r21 square so now in order to find the magnitude of r21 this again follow the same procedure find the value of r21 that is r1 minus r2 r21 is equal to r1 so co co r1 component coefficient is 2 minus r2 component coefficient is minus 2 comma 0 comma 0 is there so ay and a az term goes okay so 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 4 so r21 is equal to 4 a cap x so similarly magnitude of r21 is coefficient of uh, square root of 4 square that is uh, square and root gets cancelled so remaining answer is 4 so magnitude of r21 is 4 so unit vector r21 is equal to r21 divided by magnitude of r21 that is equal to 4 ax by 4 4 4 get an gets cancelled the unit vector r21 is equal to ax vector okay so now substitute all of this in this equation same thing df1 take the constants outside that is mu0 divided by 4 pi into magnitude of r21 square i1 dl1 cross i2 dl2 cross r21 okay so for my mu0 value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 4 pi into r21 square that is 4 square that is 16 again substitute i1 dl1 from the question that is 10 to the power minus 4 a az vector cross I2 substitute on the question only 10 to the power minus 6 a, um, ax minus 2ay plus 3az cross ax vector that is uh, r2 unit vector r21 okay then uh, 10 to the power minus 7 by 16 into this term 10 to the power minus 4az cross 10 to the power minus 6 in uh, this term cross ax vector so first thing uh, do the cross multiplication of ax vector cross ax vector it is 0 so these two these two terms goes then minus 2ay cross ax then ay and a, uh, ax you can see that these two are in uh, anti clockwise direction so the resultant vector we are getting is minus az since we have your already minus sign so minus 2 ay and minus az would be plus 2 az okay and 3 az cross ax vector are in clockwise direction so therefore the resultant uh, vector is a positive ay vector so plus 3 ay so now df1 is equal to again take 10 to the power minus 4 and 10 to the power minus 6 outside divide by 16 and write all the remaining terms az vector cross 2az plus 3ay so minus 7 minus 4 minus 6 is 10 to the power minus 17 by 16 into az and cross az vector is again 0 so az cross 3ay z and y are in uh, anti-clockwise direction so the resultant vector we get is minus ax so we have your 3 here so minus 3ax again 1 by 16 is point one eight seven five. okay I have rounded it out to 1.875 into 10th power minus 18 okay I have just uh, shifted this point this into 3 okay so this would be getting it as minus 5.625 into 10 to the power minus 18 ax newton okay so this was the solution for uh, force exerted on uh, both the cases that is i2 dl2 by i1 dl1 and i1 dl1 by i2 dl2 uh, i've solved it here you can see it so that's all hope you understood this session this was the last session of this module
from the next session we are going to start with module 5 and the last module of this subject so please do refer our videos uh, if you want to refer our previous videos go to our channels playlist all the videos are available also in the upcoming days we are going to bring the model paper solutions so please be updated to the channel you can uh, see the playlist on the right of your screen now okay so these are the playlists which we have created in our channel please do visit them and uh, do support okay like share subscribe guys thank you